Philip K. Dick was an American author who wrote science fiction novels and short stories. His dates are 1928 to 1982. He's received a lot of attention in recent decades for the Hollywood films and TV shows that are loosely based on his work. He was a very prolific author, he published 44 novels and 121 short stories in his short life. In this video I'm going to talk about what I think is the best collection of his short stories to start with and a few of his novels that I think are good entry points into Philip K. Dick. The questions that he was obsessed with were what is reality and what is human? He spent most of his career trying to tease out the some answers to those questions. There's, there's a constant theme of uh, real versus fake. Is this really real? Or is it a simulacra? Is it illusion? Am I in a dream? There's a constant use of, of alternate or competing realities. And other common elements to his fiction are drug use, paranoia, mental illness, and authoritarianism. And there is a there's humor to some of his work too that you can tell really comes out and it's very uh, very interesting um, it live livens it up a bit and this is dry humor and I'd argue that many of his stories are horror stories sci-fi horror stories that are very effective if I were to recommend one book by Philip K. Dick it would be this one the selected stories of Philip K. Dick an introduction by Jonathan Lethem. There are many collections of his short works out there, but I think this one is by far the most superior. The dust jacket of it looks like this, and it has been reissued in another cover that looks like this. This collection provides a, provides an provides an overview of Dick's career. It's uh, starting out in 1952 and goes to 1980 and has selections of his stories from all of those years and it is just fantastic. I have read it twice and I have found tremendous value in these stories. They, they amaze me, they, they surprise me. I'm, I'm c continually shocked at how well he wrote and the, the, the ideas that he presents, um, and there are a variety of types of stories. It's, it's very, very interesting and, and I think um, artistically brilliant. But if you can only read a few, I recommend uh, Precious Artifact, Upon the Dull Earth, The Electric Ant, and I Hope I Shall Arrive Soon. So again, the selected stories of Philip K. Dick. As far as his novels go, I recommend uh, Martian Time Slip. It's not easy to summarize Dick's novels. You'll, you'll see this, but it's set on colonized Mars, and it's a story of a repairman and a schizophrenic boy and this larger plot of um, real estate scam with the it also includes the indigenous Mars population and it's also treatment of uh, marriage and infidelity and it's it I'm sorry I'm not doing a very good job of summarizing it but I to, to to me, it was the most accessible of Dick's novels and the most um, satisfying, even though it really t takes a turn to the weird at the end. But um, it it's compared to his other novels, it's a it's one of his his best ones. So I recommend Martian Time Slip and um, Flow My Tears, the Policeman Set. It is one of his later works that um, it takes place after the Second American Civil War and in this police state and tells the story of a television celebrity who wakes up to find out that no one knows who he is. 
it's almost like he had never existed. And it tells so it, it follows him as he tries to figure out what's going on, and he meets this teenage girl who helps him. And also the story of a police chief who's involved with his case and his daughter and how they fit into the story. And it's surprisingly um, uh, emotional and sad and um, I think he won he won a major award for it too. So, full of my tears, the policeman said. And one other one that most people don't really care much for, but I liked it, um, the, un the Unteleported Man. Hold on, sorry. It's one of his very short uh, not, not, not novels, the original version of it, um, I think is definitely worth reading if you're interested in it. And then after you've read a few, and then after you've read a few of his stuff and you're familiar with him and how he writes and his themes, um, you can t tackle this one, The Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldritch. It is not a normal novel, um, but it's the concepts are fascinating in it, and it's connected to one of his other short stories, one of my favorites, um, called The Days of Perky Pat. Uh, you can read synopsis of it, but um, it, the ideas that underlie it um, have a lot of have a lot of value, even though it's not. The most coherent, clear novel it does have a lot of value to it. I think, if you're interested in it, there's a good biography about Philip K. Dick called "Divine in Divine Invasions" by Lawrence Sutton, and I recommend reading that um, to give you a glimpse of the man behind the stories. Um, dude was definitely one of a kind, and it it, it makes for a good re good reading if you're if you have any interest in that. And so again, I recommend the selected stories of Philip K. Dick as the best introduction to him.